Evening, guys. Hello, happy Friday. We We're made it. here for a Lost Judgment stream on the night we weren't expected to do it, which is good. My voice is starting to go, it That's seems. That's good. So, uh, look forward to that. Let's just get into it because we're a little bit later than we uh, wanted to be. Wow, your <clears> voice <throat> is really yeah, going. Yeah, it's really just, <laughs> it's just gone, isn't it, really? You haven't even had wine. Nope, I've <laughs> had no wine. You have. I have. <laughs> Lucky person. I was driving, which is the reason why I haven't had wine. Yeah, what has happened what? to my voice? What has it happened really to your voice? <laughs> it wasn't like that when we were over at... Uh... Our friends. Our no. friends. But it's been a bit iffy oh, okay. uh, anyway in the last few uh, last few days. Okay, don't okay, right. Well, anyway, what were we doing? Resting up on the. We're couch. going back to Camarocho. That's Ooh. our next story objective. Okay. Um, now I'm trying to remember whether it was anything we wanted to do side stuff wise. Yeah, you were maybe going to look at the side quest board, but. I feel like I picked something up. I just can't. There was this. Please investigate a corporate spy. Mm. That's going to um, involve tailing. I can't be fucked with that. Forbidden Taste, obviously we started that one, yeah. and we've done these two, so... Yeah, you know what, I'm just like... Let's just carry on. Carry Let's on carry of, on. Let's carry on with a bit of story, why don't we? Rest on the couch, off we go. 900 SP for just resting on the couch. Oh. Um, Kaito. Of course, yes, he's recovering still. Is he's alive. Yep. Yeah. なんかどんどん体が冷えてったなと思ったら松金の親父にどやされてた。まだ俺が駆け出しの頃の記憶だ。ハブラの頭も煙骨詰めるかって睨んできてたよ。で、俺の代わりに東がないてんだ。死
Why, thank you, YouTube. I know I'm streaming now. Yep. <laughs> it's just like gaming after bed is streaming Lost Judgment. I know. Uh, it was really good. We'll have to get around to that at some point. Yeah, we will. God, there's too much stuff to play. Our backlog is getting ridiculous. It's starting to be a bit silly, isn't it? Yep. We've got to get through the whole of this first before we even think about the Kaito DLC. Yeah. But we will play it, won't we? Since it's there. Are we going to stream it? Because then I guess it needs. Well, it makes sense to stream it, doesn't it? Because then does. we're going to have to work out when we stream it. Yep. Straight after finishing it, I guess. I guess, and then I do Horizon Forbidden West after finishing Red Dead. Mm hmm. Squirrel! No, literally, squirrel. Where? Down here. Aha. Uh, does that have a number? No. Hmm. Okay, it's not very long, so it would be like what? Three streams? Mm -hmm. A couple of streams, maybe. This squirrel is receiving a transmission. It's a fucking squirrel! How is it receiving a transmission? I don't know, but... Um, okay. Something in the bushes. Bingo. 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 Boots. Some kids size shoes. These show aren't going on my feet. It's Takayuki-san. Hmm? Who the fuck is this? Oh, hey there, Fataba. I, I Do guess we know we've this met kid? this girl before. I think, oh, it's the one we talked to which started off the squirrel, squirrel thing. I don't remember. I remember now. I figured there might be another squirrel around, so I sprinted here as fast as I could. Looks like you got to it first. Oh. At least this time. I have something for you. You can have the boots. Try these on to see if they fit. I know I sure as heck can't wear them. And how about I trade you for what I found? I'm not really sure what this is for. A nine gates tile. <laughs> You'll find out when you're older, but anyway, trade's a trade. This is fun. Let's trade again when we both find more treasure. Ooh. Sounds like a plan to me. So you can get nine gates in Mahjong now. Ah. That's handy. You could... Uh... Earn a fair bit of money if you did that. I'm glad you pointed out the squirrel. Thank you. I wonder what you were on about when you said squirrel. <laughs> Is that? Oh, dog! I forgot. Our yeah. dog just sits out there. Can you Rampo. pet him? Don't take the dog for a walk. No. Never mind. Not today. Can Is we it take Rampo? him? Yeah. Can we take a little bit? There. There. Can we take him to Camarocho with us? I wonder. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Yagam-san, you go to Yui no Well, you know that's going to go horribly when we find her. Let's go. Ah, go. Okay. So, go back to it. If you had a Yagam-san, you would have a Yui to the Kawai Shinya to the Mikoshiba Hiro no Koroshi ni mo kakawatte ru. Ma, so de nak temo, kyoshi jidai no Kuana san no koto wa kiki dasseru hazu da yo ne. Hmm. And now it's night time, all of a sudden. I suppose we're back in Kamurocho now, aren't we? Though no car chase this time. Aww. Not at that particular moment, anyway. Right, I wonder what she's got to say. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. Tante 
彼は横浜99課の杉浦と言いまして知りません杉浦は偉人町の探偵なんですよある事件を追ってて最近ニュースになりました星稜高校の沢陽子先生が自宅で殺害された件です沢さんは間宮さんの高校時代の同級生ですよねうん13年前に黒川学園を卒業した後沢さんは偉人町で高校の先生になってたんです、うん、聞こえてますかどういうご用件ですか陽子ちゃんとは卒業以来会ってません私がお話しできるようなことなんてないですけど事件の前俺はたまたま彼女の自宅に来てた北方先生と出くわしてます北方先生は覚えてますか黒川学園であなた方を担任してましたが楠本光君の件があって学校をお辞めになった彼も沢さんの事件に関係してるようなんです他の人は当たってくださいなんで私なんですもちろんこれから他の人も当たります俺たちは沢さんが巻き込まれた事件を調べたいだけなんです間宮さん彼女とは特別仲が悪かったわけでもないんですよねい,いえどちらかといえば悪かった気がします、うんうん、そうですか<笑>よかったでしたらぜひそういう立場の方からもお話を伺いたいんですもうすぐ主人が帰ってくる時間なんです手短にお願いできますかそのように努力しますご協力ありがとうございますお待ちください、うん、I don't get the feeling we're gonna have like some people set on us どうしたんだろう間宮さん全然出てこないけどそうだなまたドアホン鳴らす She's taking a sweet time in there. Is she trying to figure out an escape plan or something? She's calling for backup. Yep. You haven't been very well, Steph. Sorry to hear that. 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 もうすぐ帰ってくるんだよねそんなことあなた方に言われる筋合いはありません<笑>そうだね出過ぎたことを言っちゃったそれで何を聞きたいんです、hmm. Where do I start? I have a ton of questions for her But if I piss her off we might get booted out of here with nothing to show for it <laughs> The groping was orchestrated right? <laughs> Hey, do you remember this guy? <laughs> I don't remember this. Who the, who's that guy? This guy? Yeah. That's the guy who tried to commit suicide because he got bullied by her and. Right,、others. okay. And then what? Who's Kitakata? That、sensei? is Kawana because that's k i t a k a t a is Kawana's、right. real name. Cool. So I feel like that's the least likely to piss her off. Yeah. That definitely will piss her off. That. Is possibly is going to piss her off. Gonna,、um, But who knows? If it pisses her off, then. Do you remember might be. Like that, the one you're on, the Kitakata one, seems a little bit like. Oh, I don't know. I think it's between the top one and that one. Yeah. Yes,、yeah, so、we do remember the horrible video we saw, Steph, don't worry. Yeah. So, so we know that she was in it. I was just trying to remember the names of, to make sure I remembered. So Mitsuru is the poor lad who was getting bullied.、Mm. If we say, Do you remember? She might open up about some stuff, or she might immediately be like, You know, yeah, that is quite direct. Have you seen Kitakata? It might be more. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be that one first, personally. Do you reckon that one? Yeah. Because it's, it's well, to me, we want to find out more about him as well. It's not completely direct, and she might be thrown by it because she might think we're looking into him. Mhm. Mm Recently, Kitakata-sensei, did you meet him? 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 Did you
あまり思い出したくない方ですあの人は学校をお辞めになった後偉人町にいたと言ったら驚きますいえ別にでも偽名を使っていたとしたらさすがに驚くんじゃないですか知りません私には関係ありませんからはいパンはいパン No never seems to face her. Maybe I should take it a step further. Okay. Kusumoto Mitsuru o Oboite Masio, ne? Eh. Koko Jidai no Dokyu se des. Kawai Shinya to you, classmate on Ijime o Ukete, Kosha. Need to find out more about that guy as well. Yeah. Jusan and Tata Imamo Ishkiga Modora Nai so de. Yoko chan no Hanas Janaka tan deska? Eh, so des. ただどうも事件の周辺には黒川学園の出身者が異常に多いようでみんな間宮さんと同じクラスにいましたまず喜多方先生がそうですしそれと赤池さんという方にも会いました彼のことも覚えてますまあ同級生ですから一応そしてその方々がみんな楠本充君の一件を間近で見ていたわけですよねそうですねでも誰にとってもあまりいい記憶じゃありませんわかりますそうでしょうね Alright we're off to a decent start I should keep it rolling and carefully build up to our point Just keep prodding Well I haven't got anything else to go、oh. for now apart from this Hey Anne Boleyn Hello I'm、well, in mean, a nice Friday, thanks. Had a few drinks with some friends and a nice homemade curry.、Uh, not by us, by them. <laughs>、uh, right. Are we, are we going in for the kill?、Uh, yeah? Well, I haven't got anything else to go for, have I? Do it. How's your Friday? The Friday is a bit of 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 a しめし合わせて痴漢騒ぎを出っち上げた。お帰りください。今すぐに。ちょっと、矢上さん。誰も痴漢の被害者と加害者がグルダなんて思いません。そんなことしない。そんなことしない。そんなことしない。そんなことし
楠本充が校舎を飛び降りた当日彼がいじめられている様子をあなたも笑って生やし立てていた旦那さんとお子さんがいない時でよかったねこんなの見られたら驚いちゃうよこの動画の件で喜多方先生から何か言われたことはないですか Is he blackmailing her? Is he blackmailing her? So t h e l l kiss t h e 画面を見る限り、この動画は隠し撮りされたものです。これが存在することを、マミヤさんはご存知でした。ここに映ってるミツル君は今も意識が戻らずにいるみたいだけど当時責任を問われたのは河合信也一人だったよねいやそれと教師を辞めることになった喜多方先生もかでもあんたらは知らんかを決め込んでこんな幸せな家庭を持ってる何向こうが気になるのマミヤさんいつかこんな風になると思ってたどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどういうことどうああ、these guys。Is somebody coming to take her out? Come and come after us, but look at it. Yeah, but. Oh, that's the guy. So did she call them to come she and just, help her? I think so, yeah. So there's like. These are the same guys that took, took, came after,、um, you know, when.、Uh, no, I know who they are, but like, who are they? I don't know, well, accomplices by the looks of it, of some description. The problem is, she, didn't, she and they didn't reckon on us being quite handy. Yeah. Are we going to unmask them now? Or do you think they're just like goons? I have no idea. <sighs> hey, up, me chuck shiny not shut the ne. Me over in our cow got dedicated. Coitsua Akaike san, San Jusai. Kuroka Gakuen, the Sotio said. Are they all involved? So、we've, we've came yeah, across yeah. him, yeah. Yep, party me nuts. So they formed a little group to keep everything in the room. Those are the こいつらって、すくもくも小指折ったやつらだよね。ふん。仕返しに指折ったりすんなよ。それより、ここにいちゃまだ他に仲間が残ってくるかもしれない。あ、ここにいちゃまだ他に仲間が残ってくるかもし
そんなのはどうでもいい兄貴に何があったんだてめえもう返しは済ませたんだろうなやめてくれ Last summer was a bit of a dick. Arke no Gaki Domoka. Aniki mo nanda te ama yatra ni yarare chimandu. I love her because she's too. 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 We're gonna hear her out. Yep. I suppose I have. Let's have a look. It's saying about skills. So, how long is it? 24, 460. Further increase my maximum health. Yeah, we'll probably be playing the Kaito files at some point, Lucy. Um, it's just when, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? It's just when. Probably straight after this, otherwise, kind of, we probably won't get around to it. Yeah. I'm work out which um, which one to go for. I feel like about going for like even more of the health boosts just to boost us up a bit more. Why the hell not, eh? I feel like I've got a reasonable sized health bar now. <laughs> right, come on in. What have you got to say? Everything. まず、例のいじめ動画だけどあれはどういうものなんです俺はあのデータを桑名と名乗っていた北方先生の部屋で見つけましたつまりあれは彼自身が隠し撮りしたものだったそうじゃあ桑名はあんたらもいじめに関わっていたことを13年前からずっと知ってたそうでもさそれならなんで世間的に河合信也だけがいじめ加害者になってんのあの動画を桑名さんは誰にも見せなかったわけ私たちもあんな隠し撮りされてたなんて知らなかった yeah, they, uh, 動画があるのを知ったのも now, すぐに公開されなかった理由を知ったのも学校を卒業したずっと後動画が公開されなかった理由は北方先生があれを公開しなかったのは私たちのことを一生指導し続けるためえもし事件当時あの動画が世に出ていれば確かにそれはそれで大変だったでしょうね。実際、河合はネットで顔も実名もさらされて損害賠償を何千万とさせられてるし。あんたたちも同じようなことだよ。多分私たちはその他大勢のいじめ加害者だったから、一時的に叩かれはしても、一時的に叩かれはしても、いつかほとぼりが冷める。まだ子供だったってことで、でもそれはあくまでもあの時すぐに動画が公開されてたらの話。今はその時と状況が違うってこと私には。小さな子供がいる優しい夫も居心地のいいマンションも、mm -hmm. 今あの動画が世に出たら全部失うことになるそれにうちの子はどうなると思う友達を自殺させた女の息子は絶対いじめの標的にされる人生が台無しになるしかもあれはただのいじめ動画じゃないミツルはその日の夜に校舎から飛び降りて今も意識が戻ってないんだからあんたたちは自分らがガキだった頃より失うものが大きいわけか。So in this video is leverage, Kids Katsu Sensei is continuing to teach his former pupils. 私以外のメンバーにしても同じ。黒川学園で。なかなかレベルが高くてね大抵卒業後はいい大学に進学していい会社に入ってる自分で起業したやつもいるし新しい家庭を持ったやつもそっかそいつらもあんたと同じなんだあのいじめ動画を公開されたら
全部ぶち壊しになっちゃうそうよわかる要するにあの先生は私たちの未来が輝き出すのを待ってたのダメージが一番大きくなるタイミングを<笑>そしてある日連絡を取ってきたわけ動画に映っていたいじめっ子たちにね桑名から連絡があったのはいつ5年前まだ赤ん坊だった息子と一緒に散歩してた時公園で先生は私に声をかけてきた昔とは別人みたいな暗い目をしてねそしてその場で持ってたスマホに例の動画を再生してみせたほんと異常者僕には動画に映ってたあんたらも十分異常者に見えたけどね本当にそう似たようなことをあなたは絶対にやってない自分より弱い子に意地悪したことはみんなと示し合わせて人を無視したこと、yeah, だって言ってるの、yeah, 私たちはその相手にたまたま飛び降りられてたまたま隠し撮りされてたよりによってなんで私がこんな目にあんたがそういう人だからだと思うよ安全なところから人を追い詰めて自分が何かされた時は盛大に抱き下げるそういう人だからだ5年前は He's not wrong, is he? 桑名があんたに動画を見せてきたの I look at Higashi getting involved as well now 白崎先生がカムロ町で調べてた件だがよんさっき名前の出てきた河合信也あいつが知り合いらしい連中に車で連れ去られたのも5年前って話だったぜ。ごめんなさい。やっぱりあんたらだったんだな。カムロ町からカワイを拉致したのは。そして、殺した違う私たちじゃないそんなことできるわけない私たちじゃないってことは違う誰かが殺したってことつまり河合が殺されたのは間違いないんだな私たちは先生に河合がカムロ町にいると聞かされて力づくでも何でもいいからとにかく連れてこいと言われただけ桑名はその理由を何て言ってたあいつと一緒に全員で心からの謝罪をしてほしいからって。もし断ればあのいじめ動画が流出するそれでみんなで河合を迎えに行ったただあいつは先生のところへ行くのを嫌がった河合には別に失って困るようなものなんてなかったからあんたらにとってはそれじゃ済まないええだからだいぶ揉めて結局は車に押し込むみたいになっちゃってカムロ町で目撃されたのはその時のやりとりだったんだろうなでそれ以来河合は消息不明になってるわけだが先生が指定した場所は横浜の不当で私たちはそこへ河合を連れて一緒に精一杯頭を下げたそしたら先生は河合だけ残してあとはもうみんな帰っていいって桑名と河合がそこで二人きりになったんだな。I've been that since last time. 次の携帯に先生からメールが届いてた。それにはなんて文面は何もなくて。ただ、動画がついてた。スマホで撮った。そこに映ってたのは、カムロチオで。かわいい車に押し込んでいる私たち。先生は、あの時の私たちを、ちょっとそばで隠し撮りしてたわけ。Yeah. その動画には exactly、みんなはっきり顔が映ってた。Oh, shit. かわいが、声を上げてたのを口塞いだり、事情を知らない人から見れば、ほとんど誘拐。その動画を見てたら、
もう一通先生からメールが届いた今度は画像が一枚だけでもそれを見て凍りついたもう先生からずっと逃げられないんだって分かった河合が死んでる写真だったその2通のメールを見たら誰だってこう思う私たちが河合を車に押し込んだ後それを殺したって桑名にしてみればそれで完全にあんたらの弱みを握ったってことかその時以来私たちはもうずっと先生の言いなり、yeah. どんな要求も Indeed, Steph. It's one of the things I was thinking since last time. The fact we fought him earlier on is like he does seem like the main, the main guy after all this. Forces us to what? To do his dirty work. They're being forced to help Kawana kill people. This case is finally cracking wide open. Who is he killing, though? Why? People like Mikishita. Any bullies involved in suicides? Sorry, I'm saying, I'm going to kill him. 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 7人は殺してる7人嘘でしょそんないじめ加害者への復讐それを桑名は手当たり次第に先生はそれが私たちにできる唯一の食材だって人を自殺にまで追い込んだやつらには必ず制裁が加えられるいつかみんながそれに気づくまで、うん、私たちは手を汚し続けろってそうすれば第二第三のミツルを未然に救えるかもしれないからどうしたもんかな俺はちょっとそいつを応援したくなってるぜいやだめだって I mean,、yes. じゃあみこしばヒロを殺したのもその一つかみこしばは4年前にエハラの息子をいじめ自殺に追い込んでる I'm guessing Ehara wants to do it himself. We need to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go and talk to Ehara. So, we're going to have to go. 暗黙の了解があって私たちは直接殺しに手を下すことはしない何かしら協力させられるだけ標的をおびき出すとか先生から受けた指示は絶対に拒めないそんな真似したら河合を拉致する私たちの動画が警察に届けられるそして私たちの指紋とかがべったりついた河合の死体がどこからか出ることになるのそのために先生は河合の死体を冷凍保存までして隠してる自分で殺した死体を冷凍保存そいつがある限りあんたらはずっと言いなりってわけだ。So people actually root for Kawana. That surprises me. I mean,、mm. you know, it's not like the he's obviously against bullies who drive kids to suicide. Well, yeah, I can understand that bit, can... but not the way he's doing it. Yes, there's ways about improving. <laughs> like I don't know, do some talks in schools or some shit like that. Like he probably can't now because he's fired. But like, I don't know. Maybe、mm. don't murder people. Yes. Mitsuri Kusamoto's case 13 years ago was the catalyst that drove Kawana to executing bullies. 
Hira Mikishiba, who Ahara murdered, was just one of many. Behind Ahara, Kawana was pulling the strings all along. We were wondering who the person pulling the strings was. <laughs> what Kawana does is not justice, indeed. Kawana wa... ずっと変わってないのかもな。いじめ動画を隠してただ その前にただ半年くらい前に陽子ちゃんが電話で連絡を取ってます。清涼高校で起きた自殺のことを聞くために。清涼高校の自殺ってエハラトシロ君のやつだね。あの件はもともと、いじめは関係なかったことになってたでしょ。
I'm really freaked out. My work computer, it looked like somebody's been doing like remote IT work on it. Oh, really? Now? It lit, lit up. It's lit up and it had like the, um, you know, where they like remotely access your computer. And I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> Pam loves that when I say squirrel in this game, it is actually a squirrel. Do you think that's why they picked squirrels? Bingo. This is the source of the signal. A woody pop. Whatever that is. What Receiving is a signals. What I'm... is a woody pop? I have no idea, but... Oh well, apparently there are squ squiggles. <laughs> there are squiggles here in Camarocho as well. Well, it's been a while since we've been here. Are we just going to go straight there? Yeah. Oh, that's a dead end. I don't remember that being a dead end. How's your health um, items looking? Because didn't you have to use quite a lot? I went shopping, remember? You did go shopping. I went shopping since I... Uh, oh, yes, you've got all your bento boxes. All the bento now, so I should be okay. Just stuff your face with bento boxes and you'll be fine. Take one moment, I'm going one to have moment, more please. bento. <laughs> on me, Hagiwara. SP. Anyway, where was I going? Sort of in this general direction. Gonna be having another fight in a minute. Enough. Where's my office again? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Keeping you up? Is it's the wine just, taking the wine effect? Wine is taking effect. You wanted to go to sleep? No, I'm fine. Have we actually played any of the um, Sega games in this? Uh... In this game yet? Have we been to one of the Sega places? In this place? Well, I'm not sure. Right. Yakusoku Dori, Koko Niru. So, Chia, Mami, or Yui, or Kaiho, Shite Kreruka. Dosta. Otagai, Ayumi, or Kiganai, Nara, Koko, the En, and Nirameko, got Suzukudo. Ma. それ あの人は順調に回復してるよ。けど、沢先生はもう帰ってこない。不可抗力だった。彼女が巻き込まれるなんて予想もできなかった。じゃああの日、あの人のマンションにいたのはなんでだ。RK の相馬はあんたを捕ま
自分が事件に首を突っ込んでなければ彼女は死なずに済んだかもしれない、うん、お前は心のどっかでそう思ってんじゃないのか You're gonna go that approach, eh? もしそうならそれは違う彼女を巻き込んだのは間違いなく俺だあの子が殺されたってニュースで知った時は正直心が折れるかと思った取り返しがつくものなら何だってやるただ俺の場合それには何年も前に遡らなきゃならないあんたがまだ教師だった時にかああ俺は自分って人間が壊れる音を聞いたそれを味わった人間は良くも悪くも大きく変わるお前ならわかるだろう少し調べさせてもらったよ昔お前は弁護士してた時無罪を勝ち取ったんだってなでもそれがきっかけで一人若い女の子が死んだもお前と同じだ俺たちはお互い死ぬまで治らねえ傷を負った<笑>そうかもね俺にとってはそれが13年前だ楠本充が飛び降りる前日あいつがいじめにあっていると俺に知らせてくれたのが沢君だったそれまで俺はそんな大層なもんじゃないと思ってた少しいじりが過ぎただけ男の子同士じゃれ合ってるだけまあ確かに河合と満とじゃ体格差はあるだからそういう時俺はあんまりやりすぎんなよと笑って言ってやったわけだ俺が聞いた話じゃ薄笑いだったああ同じことだなそんな俺に沢君はこう言ったんだ先生本当に気づいてないのってさまるで俺を憐れんでるような顔だったよ彼女が言うにはクラスの半分近くが光をいじめてたいつだったか駅のホームで光を見た時は今にも飛び込んじゃいそうだったって今となっては勝手な思い込みだったが俺は自分が子供たちに人望のある教師だって考えてたんだ生徒の心は掴んでいると思ってたところが沢君の顔はそうじゃないことを俺に訴えていたその日俺はいつものようにはうまく笑えなかったはずだだからひとまずは様子を見ることにした次の日俺は家にあったビデオカメラを放課後の教室に仕掛けたんだ。So that's how he got the bullying video. He had set it up himself to record the room remotely. やっぱり、あんたがあれを隠し撮りしてたんだな。ああ、お前も見たろ。ああいうのをおぞましいって言うんだろうな。ただし、俺がカメラを回収して中を見たのは。もうミツルが飛び降りた後だったほんの一足違いだったんだよあいつはその日のうちに屋上から身を投げたんだ翌日動画に映ってた生徒らは俺に隠し撮りされてたとも知らずに全部可愛い一人のせいだ自分たちは無関係だと言った実際それまで教室の外で目についてたのは河合が光を連れ歩く姿だったそして光が飛び降りた責任は河合とそれを笑って見過ごした無神経な担任教師つまり俺が追わされた俺が使命感を持って生き始めたのはその時からだよあんたは罪を逃れた自分の教え子たちを許すことができなかったそれであいつらに重い十字架を背負わせるために
自分の人生すら投げ打ったそうだ楠本光は今もまだ眠り続けている死んだも同然の状態でだなのに俺たちがあいつを忘れていいわけがないその結果沢先生を巻き込んだとしてもか<笑>改めて聞かせてもらうこの間あんたが彼女のマンションに来たのは何でだ次はもうはぐらかさないでくれはぐらかしたつもりはないただ少し順を追って説明する必要はあるな4年前教職に就いた沢君の学校で今度は彼女の教え子がいじめを受けて自殺したわかるよな星稜高校の生徒だった江原敏郎ああその責任をめぐる裁判で沢君はいじめはなかったと証言させられた俺は彼女からそのことを聞き出し三越は披露新たな粛清のターゲットに決めたんだもちろん彼女はそんなこととは知らずにいたよけどその数ヶ月後沢君は三越場が殺されたと知り今度は向こうから俺に電話をかけてきた何の用で彼女は三越場が殺されたことについてうっすら俺の関与を疑い始めていただから恐る恐る俺に電話をかけてきたんだ探りを入れるために<笑>彼女はやっぱり勘がいいそれであんたは沢先生に何て答えたんだ知らぬ存ぜぬで通したところがだその電話で彼女から妙な話が出た事件について調べ回ってる探偵がもう学校まで来てるってさうんもちろんお前のことだ警察でさえやっと三越場のことを知ったばかりだってのになぜかただの探偵が事件に潜り込んでた、so、サワ先生 was the one who told k a w a n a I'd show up at her school 警察ならともかくあの時点で探偵が嗅ぎ回ってくるにはちょっと早すぎるだから俺は想定外の相手を排除しついでに彼女にもそれとなく関わらないように匂わせることにしたどうやってお前と沢君が待ち合わせた店にネットで雇ったハンピン・リューマンを送り込んだ<笑>お前が案外やるもんで帰って彼らを逃がすために俺が出てく羽目になったがねそのドタバタの裏では警告代わりに沢君へ三越場の写真が渡されていたその役割を果たしたのは間宮優衣だ、うん、13年ぶりに会う同級生に沢君は気づかなかったよサングラスの女あれも間宮優衣だったのかあの日起きたことは全部沢君へのメッセージだったただいいやり方じゃなかったかもしれないああ多分沢先生はあんたが三越場殺しに関わってると確信したはずだあの店で彼女が俺と待ち合わせしてたことはあんたしか知らなかったんだからいずれ沢君が俺を疑ったとしても警察に売ることはないと思ってた俺たちには教え子を自殺で失ったという同じ過去があるだから彼女には俺と関わりを持たないようにさせれば事足りたんだそれで終わりのはずだったうん沢君が殺されることになったあの日彼女は俺にすぐ来てほしいと電話をかけてきた涙声でななぜ泣いてるのかなぜ会う必要があるのかを聞いても答えちゃくれなかったなのにのこのこ出向いていったのかあんたらしくもないお前は俺のことを何も知らないだろうじゃああんたは沢先生からの呼び出しを受けてどうするつもりだったもし彼女が俺を三越場殺しの犯人として疑い
それで思い悩んでいるなら全てを打ち明けてもいいと思っていた沢君になら俺のやっていることも全て理解できたはずだけど今にして思えばあの呼び出しは彼女が RK に脅されてやらされたことに過ぎなかった、うん、俺と電話してた時も沢君の部屋には連中がいたんだろう彼女が泣いていたのも俺の質問に答えられなかったのもそのせいだ RK は何であんたを追ってるんだわからない何それが分かってりゃこんな無様に逃げ回ってない本当か連中の動きが見えていないのは俺もあんたと同じだしかも奴らは人を殺すのをほとんどためらわないってことは多分 RK には何かでかい黒幕後ろ盾がついてるんだそれについては俺たちも同意見だ<笑>失礼<笑>ああこっちはまだ八神さんと一緒だそっちは杉浦君たちにつけられてないか分かったならすぐに合流しよう間宮君からだおかげさまで無事に解放してもらえた杉浦君にはよろしく伝えといてくれまだあんたをどこにも行かせるつもりはないよもうお前らは手を引け八神沢君のことも含めてあとは俺の方でやるそっちも引っ込みがつくようできる限りの説明はしたはずだここであんたに消えられるともう捕まえる手がなくなるんでねせめて連絡先ぐらいは置いてってもらわないとなそれには及ばない俺の姿はこれで見納めだそりゃ人をなめすぎだ Now we're gonna be chasing after you then, are we? Yep. Little chase to go. Why not? <laughs> Do like chase music. Don't mind chasing, it's tailing I don't like. Going so well, and there's a random thing in the way. At least we know where he's going, right? <laughs> Requirement's health does seem to be sort of slowly dropping, which is good. I'm just gonna randomly run around Camaro Camaro until you get tired. Is it? You're gonna try lobbing things at me now, are you? We're just running circles now, aren't we? And he's getting tired. He's getting tired. Or is he? Got ya. Yeah, thought you could get away from me. <laughs> Chase complete, apparently. He is quite uh, agile, isn't he? We're gonna get jumped here, aren't we?
You guys again. Mata o mai naka. Mo mask wa iranai nja nai no? Kuroka gakue no sotsugyo sei san tachi. Kiite no tori da shokun. Soko no tante san wa mo zenbu gozonji nan da yo. Kuana. Minna dou suru? So itsu ga pera pera shaberi maata ra owari da do? Jibun tachi ga tazukari ta kya.探偵さんの口を塞がないとな。殺すのは先生がやってくれるんですよね。あれ、もしかして赤池くんだよね。ああ、名前まで知られちゃってたんだな。赤池。どうなんですか、先生。わかってる。<笑> 最後はいつも通り先生に任せてお前らの手は汚さなくていいスラダーですじゃあやりますたくどういう教育だいやもうせっ<笑> Might as well finish you off in style. Pretty easy. <laughs> Of course, Kuana will have uh, got a wave as a result of that. Kuana, so Kuana. How many more times do you need an ass kicking to stop this? Here he comes. Nice try. Nanda, Mata Aini Kite Kuretano, Mamia San. It done Kuano Karini, Anta de Gaman Sudishka Nasa Sodana. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> but yeah, Kuana got away, which is a bit annoying. But we're going to see him again. Yep, he did use that as a distraction, of course he did. Sorry, I'm really not carrying, keeping up with the chat tonight, so apologies that I've not really been uh, able to do that. There's been so much sort of going on. You guys have been saying quite a lot. There's only a few of you there. There's loads going on in the chat, so sorry I've not been keeping up with that. Yeah, they don't really have a choice, do they? Now,今から13年前、楠本光が校舎を飛び降りたのを機に、桑名の人生は決定づけられた。彼はいじめの加害生徒らにとって永遠の足かせとなるべく各地で人を殺しているだが沢陽子の死は桑名にとっても事態が予測不能となったことを示していた You tried to get rid of us and you failed. We're still going. Catch a tiger. Interesting. I wonder what that's going to refer to. We'll hear coughing downstairs. Right, all the masks are off. So I'm just going to photograph everybody by the looks of it. <laughs> お前らには何の脅威もない。なんだと。今まで好き勝手やってくれた分 
つけにしといたからさ<笑>すぐ腹が立つ。震えながら待ってな。あ、すげえ。あ、すげえ。コンビニにすげえ。また、さっきのゲーセンに戻るのああ。恨むんなら、一人だけ逃げた。先生を恨むんだね。He's still got an annoying like, face about her. Higashi, I'm going to say, 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 あ,あ東さんが調べたわけじゃないのに<笑>自分の手柄みたいに言ったわけねえ八神さん<笑>別にいいって実際肝心の桑名には逃げられちゃったしな<笑>だからまずは沙織さんからの依頼を片付ける江原の痴漢事件を全部はっきりさせんだ間宮さんにご協力いただいてさ<笑>事件の事情聴取ってわけねじゃあ城崎先生たち来るまでまだ時間あるでしょ八神さんは一息入れてきたら、like、ううそうか、um, well, みんな揃ったら電話するよああ俺もそれで構わねえぞそういや東神室町で何か変わった様子は RK の連中はどうしてるああそれなら昨日あたりから妙におとなしいってうちのもんが言ってた頭の相馬と阿久津が偉人町の方に行ってるわけだからなクソあいつら、うん、今度戻ってきたらただじゃ済まさねえ海藤の兄貴がやられた分は俺がきっちり返してやる返しってもう極道やめたんじゃなかったっけ極道として言ってんじゃねえ人としてやらなきゃならねえけじめだろ<笑>その考え方が極道っぽくないじゃあ人として取らなきゃならねえ敵討ちだうんいやモーラルか全然違う方向に行ってるけど<笑>にかとにかく俺は極道をやめても人間やめたわけじゃねえ人としての筋を通す。いや、ヒガシーズ always involved, i s n t he? But he just wanted to like run his arcade and it'll be fine. Since I'm out, might as well check on how the city's doing. I'll go kill some time somewhere. Sounds good. Right, okay then. Shall we go and have a look at the quests in the office and see if there's anything good to do? Obviously, we don't want to be doing this for too long. How long have we been going? Only an hour and a quarter. Obviously, I don't want to shortchange you guys, but at the same time, <coughs> I don't want to be on too long as well since we started a bit uh, started a bit late. Um, so it seems there are squirrels around here as well. So that's all well and good.、Um, have we got anything interesting on the map? Let's have a look. Chaos of the Masked Writer. That's like one we could potentially do. Is that the one, one of the ones we picked up from.、Um, uh, we actually picked that up from Yokohama 99. I'll have a look and see what else we've got in terms of quests that we could do at this point. I don't think there was much last time here. Yeah, it's a bit of a. It's, a whole, it's definitely a strange one, isn't it, with the whole Kawana situation? Because, yeah, what he's doing is. Massively fucked up, but at the same time. Oh, hello. That was quick. <laughs> Everyone here already? Oh, they're、oh, back soon. Cool. As soon as I get back to Charles, Yui Mami is going to answer every single one of my questions. Didn't have to kill too much time, did I?
loving the uh, charged moves. Snake is so OP though, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Let's get run over in Camarocho as well. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? What am I doing on the uh, on the skills? Because I gained a load of points. I've got twenty six thousand points again. I mean, it, man. Sorry, don't mind me while I just uh, work out what I'm going to spend my points on. few fancy ones, aren't there? I just feel like I could learn a couple more of these things. These would be good. EX wheel throw. A throw that could be performed from a grab when at full health. Nice. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, snake. I do like the snake um, stuff. You know, it, it, it does seem pretty cool. It's, it's good that they added that extra style in there as well. When on the brink of death, perform a throw that can hit multiple enemies. Alright. Got 11,000 left. What else are we going to do? Overwhelming parries. I lost that as well. I feel like I was a bit behind on the snake. Now it's the one that's further ahead. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Five thousands or six thousands? What can I spend that on? A merciless high speed attack unleashed upon stunned enemies. When on the verge of death, unleash your skill while grabbing an enemy. Huh. Do you like the sound of that one? That one. A few EX actions might make things uh, might make things a bit more interesting. Hello, Kimo. Thanks for joining us. I actually started a bit late, so you haven't missed as much, but we have been doing a load of story stuff um, since Kaz isn't here, as you can probably work out. Um, I'm just going to be doing a bit of side stuff for a while. Hmm? Yep, that didn't work. That's not working, is it? Bosh. <laughs> I love the surrender thing. Didn't like that, did you? There you go, that was easy enough. <laughs> yeah, you've got a massive lore dump in the arcade, like you say. But that's fine. That's fine. Understanding a bit more about what's going on. Something like that. Interested to see where this is going to go, though, from here. So this is chapter... Are we chapter 10 already? How many chapters are in this again? So we're pretty most of the way through now, aren't we, thinking about it? I think I like, in terms of, Lucy, what you're saying in terms of styles, I like the different styles for different reasons. In different scenarios. How are the jobs looking right now? Oh, I've got fucking hell. I've got nothing else. That's annoying. I think I'd have something else. Well, if that's the case, you know what I'm going to go and do? I'm going to go and catch up on that other side quest that's actually in the area. So go over to this one here. Uh, the Chaos of the Masked Writer. Let's go and find out what that one's all about, shall we? Now, I'm trying to remember, did we pick that up in Yokohama, or did we... Is that just a random one that's just there? Anybody remember? The voice seems to be holding up, at least, which is good. After we sort of started, I'm just saying... <laughs> Okay, 
so which floor do I need to go on for this, uh, this quest then? More stairs to go up? There's more stairs I can go up as well, okay. Aha! It's here. Ah, hello. You've just been standing out there waiting for me, have you? Only three more to go, Steph. Jesus, what, after chapter 10? This is Kazuto Jumonji's office, and maybe it's him. Might you be Yagami-san? Hey. Yeah, and you must be... Shh, please just call me Okazaki while we're out here. You never know who might be listening. Very true. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Aruto Orozaki. That's my real name, in fact. The this is the face of the masked writer. He's younger than I thought. Well then, Yagami-san, before we enter my workspace, I want you to promise me something. That you won't tell anyone what you're about to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very well, my lips are sealed. Oh, excuse me, sorry. A week is catching up on us. Oh, mm -hmm. right. What is this? This is the true identity of Kazuto Jumonji. Ten different people. Yep. I'm not sure I understand. All the works of Kazuto Jumonji are written by the ten of us here, including myself. In other words, Kazuto Jumonji isn't one person, he's a group of authors. Eh? A whole group? Mm. Right, okay. Well, that would explain how he's able to get stuff out so quickly. So that's how you write books in so many different genres at such an impossible pace. Yep. It's all due to the efficiency of ten talented authors of different personalities all writing at the same time. Naruhodo. Pretty neat trick. Yo. So this is the detective. Kamurocho detective at that. I bet he has a lot of good stories. Hmm. Curious. Please have a seat. And I'm going to explain our request to you. This is a real surprise. So many people all writing as one person. Yeah, I don't know of other groups like us, that's for sure. But truth be told, each one of us is a failed author. I mean, we all had a publishing debut, but never had any success beyond that. Each of us nearly gave up our pens for good. Huh. So how did you come to work together? How else? Through social media. I launched an online community and ended up attracting a bunch of failed authors. And through our exchanges, we came up with the idea of joint authorship, so we tried it, and it worked. Naruhodo. That's interesting, and I hear your first effort was a smash hit. It was a masterpiece that none of us could have written on our own. It exists only because the ten of us worked on it together. Aha, I wasn't expecting to see you back. Uh, well, Squish 2 is asleep in our bed, but ah. in the middle. Squish okay. 1 is kind of having a bad dream. Oh dear. Whimpering quite a bit, but I thought I'd come back and, uh... Just catch the end of the stream. Fair enough. Well, I was gonna. I was sticking with side stuff while uh, okay. you weren't around. I'm doing one of the quests I picked up in Yokohama 99. Remember the masked author they talked about? Yeah. Um, as it turns out, it's not one person. It's ten. Oh, okay. So I'm just meeting guys now. So cool. some of us come up with clever twists. I feel like I hear that and hear a making noise already. Yeah, she's not having a good night by the sound of it. So I don't think we're going to be doing too much more than up tonight, guys, I'm afraid. Some of us come up with clever twists, some of us are good at dialogue, and some of us are awesome at building plot. Email, I'll tell her that you say hi. Where each of us may be lacking in one area, together we can be a great author. So it doesn't seem possible for ten people to write a coherent book. Hollywood movie scripts are often written by multiple people, it just depends on how you divvy it up. What's more, by managing the workload of each member, we can even work on multiple titles simultaneously. Mm. So as long as you do it right, this unique creative process ends up pretty productive. Exactly, I doubt any writer could do what we're doing. And I'm in charge of managing the members' schedules. Which is something I'm great at. I used to be an editor, you know. A former editor, huh? Well, then time to ask some questions. Ask about the stolen ideas. I heard that some of your ideas were plagiarised. What can you tell me about that? So it's about half a year ago. We were in the midst of polishing a manuscript we had just finished. 
A new mystery novel came out and it immediately became a hot topic because of this one trick which was depicted in the story. And the thing was, it was nearly identical to the manuscript we were polishing. Tsumari. So another author beat you to the punch. And when we published ours later, we were accused of plagiarism. Sorette. Any chance it was a coincidence that the contents just happened to be similar? That's pretty hard to imagine, because it wasn't just the trick I mentioned earlier, it was also the setting, the structure, even the character traits. They were almost exactly the same. Mm. Too many similarities for it to be mere coincidence, of course. Not if there are dozens of them like that. You could say, only say it was a coincidence if it had been one thing. What the readers saw could definitely not be called a coincidence. Naruhodo. I get it. And it wasn't just that one book that plagiarised us. The same author put out three more books after that in succession, all with ideas that were just like ours. I should ask about the author that's plagiarising them. It suggested it's someone involved, like someone here, potentially. Ask about the plagiarist author. Could you tell me about this author you think is stealing your ideas? Sugoroku Futaba. His first novel was published more than 10 years ago and was a decent hit at the time. He even won an award in some mystery novel contest, but after that his books seemed to go nowhere. People said he was just a one-hit wonder. Hmm. But then all of a sudden that one-hit wonder com came out with a new book that turned into a famous bestseller. And that book was nearly identical to one of ours we had yet to release. So one after the other, Mr. Fataba continued to publish books that closely resembled what we were working on. All of them bestsellers. Now people think he's made this miraculous comeback. If you're so suspicious about this guy plagiarising you, why not just sue him? I did think about that. But if we took this to court, we might have to reveal the secret to Kazuto Jumonji. I think it'd be hard for us to tell the truth in court while also hiding how we write, don't you? Mm. It probably would be. It could be that the author is fully aware that you're powerless to take him to court, and that's why he steals from you. If that's true, it would be completely infuriating. Unforgivable! Okay, let's ask about other detective investigations. I hear you've already asked other detectives to look into this matter. There have been three. Sorette. What kind of investigations did they conduct? They looked for ways to hack us and whether our room was bugged. They tried really hard but couldn't find anything. Huh. None of them came up with anything. And yet our ideas kept being stolen. You've really got to wonder how in the world it's being done. This could be a tough nut to crack if the perps already evaded three different detectives. Nothing else to ask. That's all very useful information. I know. I'd like to proceed with this investigation by collecting even more info. Is alright if I interview the other authors? Please do, I've already asked them to cooperate with you. I appreciate that. Is there going to be lots and lots of talking in this then? Time for a thorough recon mission. Question the members of Kazuto Jomonji. We talk to this guy first. Hello. Excuse me. Shaggy heard young man. Hello. <laughs> this is going to be a masterpiece. I'm a genius. Once Manabi Kun gets into the zone, he can't hear anything. Talking to him right now won't do you any good. Oh. Alright then. He's so skilled at fleshing out characters, he just really breathes life into them. This guy is going to be awesome and he'll provide a foil to the protagonist's weakness to boot. Nice! Who knew the hero had this side to his character? It's like finding gold in the river. Hee hee hee! He does look absolutely full of life while he works. Honestly, he's a character himself. But to be unable to hear anything? That's a love another level of focus. Okay, not that guy then. I'll talk to this guy then. Or this girl. I know. Can I ask the rest of you some questions? Ooh, Mr. Detective on the Prowl. I'm Machiyama, by the way, author of many a cell phone novel. You know, books originally written on a phone. Yagami this. Interesting. Nice to meet you. I'm Ayahara. I may not look it, but I used to be a screenwriter for the Dunce, the period drama. Yeah, I wrote episodes five through seven. You remember that pre-stroke Nobunaga cells? Well, I... Also, I'm going to save the tour of your career minute for later. I'm Nishimura, and since we're sharing, I was mostly a light novel author. So, are you here to ask us something? He looks a bit grumpy. Hey. Want to know if any of you have seen anything suspicious? Anything suspicious? No, I can't think any. 
Me neither. Hmm. Well, actually, there's one thing I noticed. I think Makura-chan changed her shampoo recently. Huh? Excuse me. Could it be you found someone special, Makura-chan? Hmm. 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 Please, enough with the near sexual harassment. <sighs> Is this a meeting space for you all? It's a nice place to get refreshed, especially because talking to young women can be so exhausting. Ha <laughs> ha. I wish you wouldn't talk about this space like it's some cabaret club. We happen to use this space for actual purposes like idea meetings and yes, even some random chit chat at times. We do lots of amazing brainstorming here. Naruhodo. You all bounce ideas off each other in here. Wouldn't exist without these brainstorming sessions. We share ideas, play to each other's strengths, and we polish everything up for each other. In fact, we were doing that right before you started asking your questions, and we'll go back, right back to it when you're done. Do these brainstorm sessions take place at the same time every day? Why not? Why do you ask? If details of your work are being discussed, those sessions are a chance for someone to eavesdrop. And it would be even easier if you guys meet at the same time daily. You've hit on something there. What a deduction. One that I deduced myself. I always thought this place is bugged. But it can't be. Don't you remember? I never found any evidence of that. Since three detectives already came and didn't find anything, it probably wasn't a bug. But if these guys are having regular idea meetings, surely a plagiarist would see them as an opportunity. Someone outside. Is that a gunshot? That was probably the damn neighbourhood pranksters. Just a bunch of local kids lighting up firecrackers and making trouble. Probably playing cops and Yakuza. Remember the last time we heard firecrackers? It was when another detective was here. That detective also thought it was a gunshot. Not surprising a sound like that makes people think of gang warfare. Even with the Tojo clan gone, this is still Camarocho. Last I heard. Last heard when a previous detective was here. That's interesting. Are we going outside to have a look? Oh. Talk to this lady. Oh, she's on the phone. I see. Can't make it, huh? Alright, we'll get some rest. Bye. Hello. Yagami is. Yagami's name. I'm a detective. I'm Remy Makita. I'm in charge of the love stories, mostly. Sorry you heard that. Bit embarrassing for me. Yeah. I apologise, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I was talking to Masamichi Ichinose, one of the other members of Kazuto Jumonji. Mm -hmm. He's not coming. He's kind of fickle, has a habit of feeling down, so he's, an abs he's absent pretty often. Mm. He likes to come in out, out of the blue and surprise us, only to take off for another two months. Sorette. Does he have an actual illness? The kind of illness that makes you play games in your room all day. Naruhodo. That sounds difficult to deal with. But he's got the talent, he comes up with ideas nobody else could. Fresh worldviews, mind-blowing plot devices, he's good at unpredictable twists too. If only he weren't so unstable, sometimes he can be in a slump for half the year. Mm. Maybe that's just how geniuses are. I don't know, I wish we could, ha we could have a stable genius. Anyway, I'm sort of his caretaker for some reason. But I can't criticise him if I was ever to chide him, even a little, he'd go into a slump. What a handful. I can see you're having a hard time. Oop, don't walk into a table, Yagami. Hello. Hello? Excuse me, I'm a detective. Can I ask you a few questions? Okazaki-san told me about you. I'm Taka Takashi Hojo. In the world of Kazuto Jumonji, I do the science and military research, plus security for the office. I'm Satu. I research Western mythology and civilization. You might say I'm the fantasy buff, too. You're here to look into any spy activity, aren't you, Yagami-san? We've been taking measures against spies ourselves. Mm -hmm. What kind of measures? We set up a hidden camera to catch anyone who tries to sneak in. We actually already had a security camera, but we felt one wasn't enough. We're still getting our information stolen with locked doors, too. At this point, we figure we just got to outsmart the perpetrator. But there was nothing in the security footage. And no evidence of a break in either. And still, information was getting stolen. It still is. So flipping weird. Don't go there. Have you taken any anti hacking measures? With so many leaks, we started keeping our writing computers offline. Naruhodo. 
That sounds like a good move. Any chance of a leak coming from memory devices which get taken outside? I doubt it. We strictly prohibit anyone from removing devices like USB memory sticks. I remind people of that all the time too. I haven't gone so far as to search their bags though. I don't feel the need to do that. At the end of the day, we trust our members. No chance of information being leaked and low chance of any burglaries. Thank you for your cooperation. Who now? Just him now we've not really spoken to, isn't it? I think that's all of them. Now let me step back and figure out exactly what I know now. Chances seem pretty damn low that any wiretaps, hacks or accidental leaks took place, so that leaves. How are things going? Did you find anything? Yeah. Nothing decisive yet. There's only one way I can think of for the book ideas to leak, and I suspect it's not because of an outsider. Should I tell Okazaki-san? It'd be careless of me to make claims without any evidence. Are you sure there's only one member absent today? I see only eight people here. Who's missing? I think Sanadakun went up to the roof. It's him, all right, because I don't see him. He went up to the roof, that's fine. I'll talk to him later. Or maybe I'll go up to the roof now. Oh dear, someone's not happy downstairs. Finish this off if it doesn't take too long and then uh, I will go and bring this to a close and hopefully... Yeah. Put things out downstairs. Hello. You're Yagami-san, right? Hey. I'm going around asking everyone questions. Can I count on your cooperation too? Of course. I'm Sonada. I'm in charge of structuring Kazuta Jumonji. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by structuring? Like drawing a blueprint out of the story, I make adjustments to the ups and downs of the drama and I set up the foreshadowing. Mm. I kind of understand, but not really. For example, changing the order of the episodes or making a character's backstory stronger. Little tweaks like that can make a big difference in how fun and readable a story is. And my role is to keep a bird's eye view of the whole story to analyse where we can make these improvements. Naruhodo. Starting to get the idea. Have you noticed anything suspicious around the office? Actually, yes. Eh? Can you tell me more? Why is he hesitating? I should press him a bit. Come on. Ano. Can you tell me what you saw that was suspicious? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not eager to share. It's not exactly something I want another person to know. A detective is bound to confidentiality. I won't share anything you tell me with anyone. I'll tell you. I'm going to be totally straight with you, Yagami-san. I suspect one of the ten writers is a spy. Eh? I believe someone on the inside is selling our ideas to someone on the outside. Can't say I wasn't thinking about that possibility, but... I know. Is there a reason or any evidence that leads you to believe that? I have no evidence, but I do have a concrete basis for my belief. The truth is, a few members of Kazuta Jumonji are thinking about going independent. So that, uh... Start over as single authors again. They must have finally regained their confidence because of all the hits we've had as Kazuta Jumonji. Now they think you can go out on their own and write books that will actually sell. Daga. So why don't they just do it instead of selling ideas to an outsider? What's the point of that? We're in a situation where... Hmm, what should I explain first? The members of Jumanji have signed a contract that prohibits them from going independent for at least five years. Yeah. That's pretty long. The whole intent of the contract was that each of us would focus all our energy on this. In exchange for accepting the severe restrictions, we'd all receive regular royalties. You don't have that type of thing as a single author where you're at risk of enduring long, moneyless periods in the publishing schedule, as well as your own slumps. Mm. But that's another benefit of working in a group with other authors. A huge benefit, one which would disappear after they're independent from Kazuto Jumanji. Remember we envisioned all the works by Kazuto Jumanji to remain the property of Kazuto Jumanji, the corporate entity. Naruhodo. So that makes it hard to strike out on your own. If they were to complete, break up completely, that would be a different story. The contract stipulates that if such a thing were to happen, each author would continue to receive an equal share of the of the royalties. I'd say royalties. So here is what I now believe: one of the authors wanting to be independent is selling info to someone on the outside just to make us suspicious of each other. 
This author is trying to bring about the breakup of Jumanji. And this is why you think the suspect has to be someone on the inside. I'm not totally convinced, but the motive makes sense at least. I know. So who are the members who want to become independent? I'm sorry, even after all I've just told you, I can't bring myself to sell out my co-workers. Mm. I understand. I like the work we do, and I don't think I could make it on my own. A breakup is something I desperately want to prevent, so I hope you can use your investigation to shine a light on the truth. You can leave the rest to me. Thank you. Alright. We'll just have a cigarette while we're here, shall we? The issues are pretty complex with this little group of authors known as Kazuta Jumanji. Oh, hello. Are you done talking to Sanadakun? Hey. We finished up just now. There's one thing I neglected to tell you. It might turn out to be nothing, but... Something trivial could turn out to be a clue. It's about an odour. Mm -hmm. The author has been complaining about a strange smell lately. It wafts in from nowhere and then disappears before we can track it. Sorette. What sort of smell? Oily. Almost like if he left out some meat for a while, that kind of oily, rancid smell. Ugh. It never comes during meals and there's never trash or anything on the floor, so we just don't know where it could be coming from. Pretty puzzling. This probably has nothing to do with your investigation. Yeah. You never know. All hints are valuable. I'll start paying attention to any smells in the air. Hope there are more good ones than bad. Okay. Oh, me. A mysterious odour. What could it be? Let's go back to the office, shall we? Is it in here? Nope, not this way. Too need to go down another floor. <laughs> we already had one person hiding in the ceiling. Yes, we did, Pam, and it wouldn't surprise me if something else like that happened again. Okay. Please feel free to look around the office. I already told the authors to keep out of your way. Time for a good look around. The most interesting location is the meeting space where they exchange their ideas. They say no bugs or wiretaps were ever found there, but maybe they missed something. An unidentified odour. I hope I can actually find out where it's coming from. A mysterious odour. What could it be? When it comes to smells, I know just who to call. Hm. We're going to do that first, are we? Call the dog. Yes. Somehow the dog is with yes, us in Camarocho. Yes. Hmm? Are the cigarette butts bothering you? I know. You allow smoking in this office? That's rare these days. Some of the authors say they can't come up with ideas unless they smoke. I'm aware most offices ban smoking, but this is ours, so we're pretty lax about it. But the non smokers aren't crazy about it. Naruhodo. Is that also why I have the window open in December? The ventilation system never gets en lets enough fresh air inside. Mikuru chan the young lady, opens the window at the start of every meeting. Hmm. And then the authors smoke while we all talk. But when your voices leak outside, isn't there a risk of someone overhearing? I mean, we're on the third floor. Besides, we're not that loud, and the next building over is some distance away. It really doesn't worry about that. I think, okay, I think I'll look around the windows anyway. Oh. There's something on the side. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Hmm? What are these stains? Woof. You're trying to show me these stains, huh? I wonder what they are. What a weird thing to walk back to. Doesn't look like bird poo, <laughs> Kaz is back. 
Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are still there. I wouldn't even right. say welcome back because I might be gone in like a minute well, again. Gonna, I'm going to finish this and then we're going to I stop. think that's okay. a good idea, yeah, because the kids are really unsettled. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll carry on. More stains above the window too. Weird. Welcome back again. Ooh, Thank hello. you. Hebo, hello. Yes. Hemo said hello and bye bye. <laughs> what else is around here? So mm. catch me up. What I missed. So in terms of this quest. No, all of it. So Kiwana. Uh, we met Kiwana. Yeah. Um, and he sort of ex he basically didn't really hide anything. Right. Um, but he doesn't know why our care after him. Okay. Um, but basically he tried to escape from us. We chased him. We caught him, and then he got away. We found him in the car park, and he set his um, students on us. Oh, okay. Um, we beat them up. Mm. We're like kneeling down, and Mamia tried to knock us out with a bat, but he managed to sort of stop her. So Mamia is now in our custody again. Okay. Because Koana. You can carry on by the I way. I can't multitask, remember? No, clearly. I've got to find something else around this window, oh. apparently. What else is around this window? I, I don't know. Check around the window. Like, what, the blood stain? No, I've already looked at that. Right. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Ah. Animal fur. Why is this here? Oh, that's it. What were you thinking? You're not supposed to take data home. We're closing in on the deadline. Come on, just this once. Is this the video game guy? No, this is the writer, which is the famous writer, which is actually ten of them working together. Oh, okay. But ideas are being stolen. I've told you so many times, you know our ideas are being leaked, don't you? Of course I know. You're not showing data any to anyone, are you? What do you mean? You were saying the other day how you can make it on your own now. What? I don't want to believe it, but... Come on, you two, stop arguing. Mm. Looks like your fears have come true, Sonata-san. The authors have all gotten suspicious of each other. I haven't been able to trust them myself. Maybe the perpetrator really is among us. In any case, there's no more time to waste. I'll have to speed up my investigation. The two strangest, strange pieces of evidence I found. The animal fur and the smelly stains. The smell is really strong too. Maybe I should get Rampo to sniff out its source. Rampo is here, by the way. Mm. You want to go out the door, eh? Go out the door. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Woof, woof. <laughs> Do you want to go outside the room? Mm -hmm. You want me to get to the rooftop? Something up there. Off, off. I wonder what it could be. You want me to find out? Let's go. こっちだな。頼むぞ。うん、ファーム what are we looking for? So he's at the moment there's a stain. Oh. Basically he's found the scent of it. A cat food can. What's this doing here? <laughs> the A plus dog voice acting is what I came to the company. Oh yeah, you know, you know. It's <laughs> Woof. Only, only, only the best. Woof. Arf. <laughs> <laughs> this must be what caused the stains at the office. And no stains could be emitting the smell. Sonatacon, do you suspect your own teammates as well? I think there is a possibility, or rather it's the only possibility left after the process of elimination. What are you saying? We shouldn't keep turning a blind eye, Okazaki-san. We should confront the facts and expose the perpetrator before Kazuta Jumanji implodes from within. Are you saying... Hello. 
Don't mind me. I think you can hold off on your big confrontation until you hear the results of my investigation. Did you find something? Yeah. I think I've figured out the sus suspect's unique strategy. Is it a cat? Huh. The two stains in the office, the animal fur and the can of cat food. The window that always opens during their idea meetings. And then there's the reason detectives couldn't find any wiretaps or hacks. Because they're on a cat. I combine all these things, I've got enough evidence to expose the truth. I'm going to deduce the suspect's identity and how they did it based on the evidence. The method by which the suspect was stealing information was... Uh... <laughs> I think it was a listening device of some description, maybe. Uh, have I missed the start of this? Because I have no idea. Not spies, not hacking. Not a looking in or listening device. I'm going to go with looking in. What do you mean looking in through the window? Like a peeping Tom, how could someone do that on the third floor? The suspect was likely watching from another location and reading your lips to figure out what was being discussed. That sounds a little far-fetched. Do you have any proof or basis? Yeah. I don't have proof. My theory is based on a hunch, I guess. That's not very convincing. Uh, okay, maybe not that. <laughs> Listening device. Hey. I understand your brainstorm sessions take place at the same same time every evening. If someone is using a listening device precisely at that time, he can steal your ideas for his next novel. There weren't any bugs. I don't blame them for not being able to find it, because the bug only showed up when it was needed. It showed up a listening hey. device. The suspect thought up an ingenious way to bring it in here. A cat. Key to solving this mystery was the marks left at the office. Those marks tell us how the suspect was calling his bug. Uh, cat food. Mm-hmm. There were strange stains outside the office window and it smelled like greasy meat. I wouldn't know what those were. Luckily, I found the source of the smell in the corner of the rooftop. Someone's feeding a cat with a listening mm -hmm. device on its collar or something. In all likelihood, the suspect dropped cat food from this can onto the protrusion right outside the window. It was that process which stained the outside wall. You're saying this can of cat food is what called the bug? Hey. That's exactly what I'm saying. I also found evidence which reveals the suspect's identity. Not that. The cat. Cat here. Yep. Is that fur? A tuft of animal fur is found near the stains on the wall. This fur is most likely from a cat. Are you saying a cat was spying on us? Hey. Yes. Did well, I more get precisely, this? a cat wearing a wire. Did I call this? <laughs> Having walked Are you in halfway serious? through. <laughs> and that's how they were listening in our idea meetings. No idea what's going on, but. I know it's hard to believe. Come meeting time, our suspect would carry the cat up to the roof and drop cat food right outside the window. Then he would release the cat and direct its head towards the food. Do you really think a creature as apathetic as a cat could be baited like that? Food. Maybe he only kept the cat hungry beforehand so it would leap at the sight of food. That might do the trick. Cats are snooty, but not so snooty. They can ignore real hunger. Your meeting space is near the window, which is close to where the bait was placed. Moreover, you've been keeping the window open to let the cigarette smoke out. With the bugged cat sitting right outside, your conversations were leaking like a broken faucet. I can hardly picture this. There's still something I'm not convinced about, Yagami-san. Our meetings can get pretty long. Even if the cat was well trained, wouldn't it just get up and walk away after it's eaten its food? Yeah. I wondered about that too. My best guess would be... Sleep medication. Hey. The owner might have spiked the food with sleep aids. I've heard you can ask for a vet for a prescription. You really think the perpetrator would go that far? Yes. Sure, you think he could have just hung a listening device from a string or something, but think about it. 
A device on a string will eventually be seen, but if someone just keeps see seeing a sleeping cat, who would care? You have a point. Nobody would even think to shoo a sleeping kitty. It's a weird trick, but it's simply a new, new and highly effective way of hiding in plain sight. Now, having said that, if a detective were to come and investigate, the suspect would still want to keep the bug from being found. And if the cat were just outside the window, it would set off the detective's bug detector. And yet the bug detector was not set off by anything, let alone a cat. We even had a detective come written immediately after the idea me after an idea meeting once. How could it never have been found? The firecracker. There was a sound of a firecracker when we got here. Hey. Probably had a way to chase the cat away if needed. And I believe he did that even today in the time that I've been here. The measure taken by the suspect to chase away the cat is the firecracker. I missed the firecracker bit. While I was interviewing everyone here, I heard firecrackers go off outside. I understand they went off and surprised the other detectives who came here before me. That's true now that you mention it. Whenever a detective showed up, the suspect set off the firecrackers to wake up the sleeping cat. If the cat can be put in a shallow sleep by adjusting the medicine dosage, it would certainly awaken and hide from the noise. I used to take sleeping pills myself, but I was startled awake by an earthquake alert. Somebody. All this leads me to the following conclusion. Does somebody own a cat in the office? Suspect with someone on the outside. Because anybody on the inside would be able to obtain information without the need of a bug. Sure, that makes sense. Are we in agreement? We are. The suspect had to be near this building as he spied on you. He had to be able to chase the cat away with a firecracker. Your idea meeting is scheduled to start now, isn't it? The suspect might be nearby, checking in on what we're doing. Preparing to listen on the idea meeting. Mm -hmm. A man. With, with a, a cat. cat. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> My cover is being Meow. foiled. <laughs> kind of a scary cat, ain't ya? <laughs> and I'm somehow going to be chasing him through the streets, obviously. I swear we were going to finish like 15 minutes ago or something. It's taken me that long. <laughs> Here for the chase music. We're going through the cafe. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. It's all a bit silly, isn't it? It's all a bit ridiculous, yeah. Hit the right button. So what else have you been doing? Uh, so, uh. I've literally just been doing this quest. Well, basically, like, Mamiya is now in, in your custody. our custody at Charles again. Right. Uh, and Sauri and the others have come over. So basically, we had to go and kill time. I had to kill all of, like, <laughs> like two minutes. And mm -hmm. then they called me saying that they're back. So that's the next thing we're going to be doing. Right. Yes, love the music. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> He's tired. Twatting. Catching. If we've found our suspicious author, catch the suspicious man. Oh, we have to go to bed soon. All right. When this finishes, we're going to bed. Ooh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Good job, Yagami's so fit, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Being able to run up. Right. You're the one who's been spying on the office of Kazuto Jumanji. I don't know what you're talking about. This can of cat food. It had your fingerprints on it. You didn't think to wipe them off? What? I can hand this over to the police, you know. Oh, so I'm going to have to fight him, aren't I? Yeah. Of course, I don't actually have any fingerprints. But this isn't a courtroom, so... <laughs> 
I'd say I'm allowed to bluff a little. Time to give up and admit to your crime. Grr. Forget it. Give me back that cat food can. I am saying I would have run out of breath. I don't... Uh, did I manage to, yeah, 10 metres, that'd be all right. Probably. <laughs> Not after the curry I've eaten tonight, though. <laughs> well, that was easy. That was easy. They usually end up being a bit pathetic, these bosses. Mm. Ow! I'm sorry! No. So who are you? Were you stealing the writer's ideas? Is your name Sugoroku Futaba? Did you catch the... Ah, it's you. Mm -hmm. You know this person? This is Wataru Tenjin Bashi, our editor in charge. Oh. Eh? The perp was your editor. Former editor, to be exact. Eh, do. What do you mean? He was our editor until about a year ago, but we asked for him to be reassigned after he caused some trouble. Sort of. Like what? Kind of trouble. He advertised a new book on social media without our consent before we'd even decided to publish it. We were still working on the plot points, none of which have, had been made public. <sighs> the only that had leaked classified information. And then the readers were expecting this great novel, which we didn't even know how or if we were going to be able to complete it. This guy even disclosed a surprise twist in the story in an effort to save his marketing campaign. And in the end, we had to scrap that novel and start another one from scratch. Oh. So that's what happens. It's your fault. All this is your fault. Excuse me, what? Well, after all that happened, you decided to release your Sleeping Detective series with another publisher. The editor-in-chief hated me for losing a featured author. He stopped giving me the work until I had no choice but to resign. Mataku. He took out your frustration by stealing your ideas and selling them to an unknown writer. The writer in the slump will pay anything for good ideas. And I'm sure this man took full advantage. So what are you going to do to me? We'll leave it up to the court to decide who you, what you'll be charged with. No! 100,000 yen and 5,000 SP later on. It's worth doing, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just glad we're able to catch the perp. <sighs> Are we good now? Oh, I hope so. You should know that I recognise your talent, but I cannot condone distrusting your teammates. Ugh. I know that some of the authors are looking to go independent. I also know that worries you. I'm sorry, I... Ever since the plagiarism mess, the teamwork at Jibonji has been in shambles. We have to start making improvements. And that starts with trusting our members and working as one. Can I count on you for that, Sanadakun? Of course. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think I'm looking forward to Kazuta Jibonji's next book. Ugh. Oh, dual records, Earth. EX Dagger Break has been unlocked. Learn how to use it from the skills app. That okay. sounds like it could be handy. I might learn that now if I've got the skills for it. That was worthwhile. It was, wasn't it? Special then, is it? Or... Uh, I'm going to find it. Didn't say special. Is it a special one? Oh, it's oh, a snake. snake. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Dagger break. Oh, it's 10,000 SP. I don't have enough. That's annoying. Oh, well. That was good. Well, I enjoyed that anyway. And we definitely got a load of uh, interesting story stuff in that, didn't we, in mm. the end? Um, it's a shame that you missed part of it. But... Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, you'll be able mind. to watch it back. It's not, you know, we've been going for two hours. Yeah. Um, no, thanks for joining. I'm sorry it's been a little bit shorter, but we've got a little bit of good stuff in there. Um, we're chapter 10 now. And right. there's only 13 chapters, so we're getting through we're it. We're getting closer so to the end. We're definitely getting through it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, more stuff to look forward to. We're going to be interrogating Mamiya again uh, next time. But, uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Um, Monday or Tuesday, whenever we manage to get around to doing Monday, Red Dead. We'll do Monday and Friday as normal next week, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll That's see how we get on. Depends how the, how the kids are, obviously. Yeah. But have cool. a good weekend, and we will uh, see you on Monday. Bye. See you later. <laughs>